I hope you're all sounding better than I am right now. Um, as you can tell, a bit under the weather. So I apologize that I sound um, super groggy, but we're going to get through this today because I had to come on and tell you all that our holiday mystery box is here. And I know a number of you have been asking me if we're going to have a mystery box this year for the holidays. So dun da da dun of course we do. It's the 2022 Holiday Mystery Box from Sulky. And this was our special Cyber Monday deal yesterday. And we have extended that uh, because I wanted to come on today and tell you all about it as well. So you can grab a mystery box full of 13 full-size Sulky goodies and more. Of course, there will be thread involved, some needles, stabilizer, gifties, all kinds of fun stuff that you can unbox and see for yourself. So for only $34.99, you can grab up your mystery box and you will get a free gift with purchase. That's right. You will get a winter machine embroidery design collection full of all these cute little designs that you see here. Tis the season, home for the holidays, believe. I mean, so cute. You can use these designs for so many things that you're planning to make for the holidays. So thank you, Jennifer. She says the mystery boxes are awesome. So I hope you grabbed one up. As you know, these go really, really fast. So grab one up while you can. Um, you're going to definitely enjoy all of the items inside um, before the holidays hit. Lots of stuff you can use, like I said, for your holiday makes, as well as little gifts for yourself, because we all deserve that, don't we? Also, one lucky viewer who is watching right now, commenting, liking, sharing, all those good things, you could win a mystery box. I know. I'm going to give away one mystery box to a lucky viewer. So be sure you are putting your questions and comments in the live chat and in the comments below if you're watching on Facebook. And be sure to like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's the only way I can contact you if you're a winner. All right. So mystery box. I wish I had one here that I could open for you and share the contents, uh, but they're in high demand. You know, our holiday mystery boxes especially um, go rather quickly. So I was not able to get one, uh, but... Uh, I, I'm jealous of all of you who get to open it because um, I do know what's inside or what could be inside the mystery box. As you know, the contents may vary between boxes, um, but we do have a few things in there that every box is going to get, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. All right. Again, Jennifer says, absolutely. We all deserve a little something for ourselves. Self-love is the best. That's right. You know, I have this problem when I start to go out Christmas shopping and I buy so many things for myself and then everyone says, well, what do you want for Christmas? I'm like, well, I kind of just like buy myself these things. So I need to stop doing that and I need to start making some lists when I'm out and about, you know? So put this mystery box on your list. Um, you know, tell a loved one that that's what you would like for Christmas and they can grab one up before, you know, they're gone. Diane just grabbed a box. Fantastic. Sharon got one yesterday and we would love to see what you get in your box as well. That's part of the fun as well. So you can always join our Facebook group, which is the Sulky Stitch and Post. If you are not part of this private Facebook group yet, all you have to do is log into your Facebook account, which you might be watching right now on Facebook, search for Sulky Stitch and Post, ask to join the group, and then you will be part of our Sulky Stitch and Post community where you could post pictures of your projects, ask questions to the Sulky support staff and to each other, and you can also post pictures of what you got in your mystery box. It's super fun to see everybody's reaction as they open their box. You know, I always say it's kind of like watching that Chopped show on the Food Network. You know, you open your box and it's like, what am I going to create with this? 
You could always challenge a friend too. Like, what could we do with everything in this box? So that's the whole idea of our mystery boxes is we really want to get your creative juices going um, and put some products in your hand that maybe you aren't familiar with or you don't always purchase at Sulky. And maybe you'll find something that you didn't know you needed, but now you can't live without. So, uh, you know, you might be finding some metallics in there. Uh, you might be finding some tools in there that are going to make your life easier. So just some hints, uh, but I hope you all enjoy it. I would love to hear what you think as well. We have a really fun time curating these boxes um, and making sure that, uh, you know, it's what you're looking for and it's still uh, igniting your creativity. So we really enjoy uh, getting that feedback from you as well. All right. Joyce just grabbed one up too. Excellent. Oh, Yvonne, thank you. She says, just saw the Christmas tree collar on Sulky's blog, and I can't wait to make one for my tree. These tree collars are all the rage. Am I right? So I talked about uh, the tree collar last week on So What? So if you want to uh, watch me go take you through that project, you can watch last week's So What? as well. It's available on our YouTube channel. Uh, we have a whole So What? playlist, so you can watch all 157 episodes if you so desire. You could see where we started and how far we've come on So What? Uh, when I used to be in my very small little closet of a studio, and now I'm down in my basement. So we've really grown here on So What? Um, and it's just become so much fun. All right. Carol also got one. I'm so excited for you guys to get it in the mail. Um, I just love a mystery box, right? Oh, Leslie says, last year my husband put the mystery box uh, finds in my stocking. How cute. Love it. All right. Sharon says, I missed last week. Do you have the collar to show? Thank you. All right. So bear with me a moment. I'm going to go grab it. It's not super nearby, but yes, I grabbed it off of my tree. You could see I have a lot of things in the works here. I'm going to talk about those too. Um, and it does look a little strange when it's not on the tree, but basically, so here is the, um, you have to kind of shape it a little bit. Here's the scrappy tree collar. Okay. So you build it kind of like you're making one of those, um, cover fabric covered corded rugs, but you shape it in a way where you've got obviously your opening for your tree and you can make it stand up on its own. And I gave all kinds of tips on last week's So What for how to create it. It uses 3 8 inch diameter cording for the main part of the tree collar. And then you need a thicker cording, about a half inch diameter, for the upper edge and the lower edge. And that kind of anchors it. And then you can shape it after you have sewn it all together. And you can even give it a little bit of spray stabilizer if you want it to really stand up really well. But I find that like mine is just standing up on the carpet right now on its own. So you can grab all the instructions for that project on the Sulky blog and you can watch last week's So What and get the whole lowdown. So speaking of stocking stuffers, uh, Leslie, great segue into what we're talking about today um, I thought we would go through our special Sulky Holiday Gift Guide together today. And this is also available on the Sulky website. I linked to it in the description of today's post. Um, it was really fun to put together and it shows you a lot of items that are at sulky.com that maybe you didn't know even existed because, you know, we all know that we go to Sulky for threads. We all know that we go to Sulky for our stabilizer needs, but we also have some really, really fun, cute gift ideas. And the whole idea is, let's say you're like five bucks away from free shipping, right? We all want free shipping. Um, so let's say you're about five bucks away from that. You can grab up one of these cute little gift ideas, gift ideas, yeah, and uh, 
get yourself on the way to free shipping. Um, so I would much rather get an extra little gift for someone or even myself than pay somebody to ship my packages to me. I don't know about you, but that's just kind of the way I roll. So I thought we would go over today's holiday gift guide. If you have questions along the way, put them in the chat and I will address them as they come up. Um, also, speaking of stocking stuffers, um, I want to make sure everybody knows about our so wonderful stocking. Now, a while back, we did a promotion where this stocking was a free gift with um, a $100 purchase at sulky.com. It's about a $25 value and it's a cute little stocking, comes with a thread spool ornament, three spools of different sulky thread weights and types, um, a universal pack of organ needles, and an awesome uh, die cut vinyl sticker. I love these kinds of stickers to put on my laptop or even on my sewing machine. The cool thing about this sticker, which it says, sewing is my jam, and the little sewing machine is inside of a mason jar, because, you know, it's your jam. Love it. Anyway, the cool thing about these stickers is they don't harm anything that you put it on. So you can put it onto your water bottle or your computer, and you don't have to worry about it gumming up or, you know, ruining your electronics or anything. You can remove it, reapply it, things like that. Um, it's washable, all kinds of stuff. So these are those really cool die cut stickers. And this one is a Sulky exclusive designed here in house um, at Sulky. And I think it's the cutest thing. Um, we may even digitize it. Would you all love that if that design was a machine embroidery design? I, I think that's the cutest thing. So at any rate, we decided to package this up so that you could purchase the So Wonderful stocking now that that promotion is over. So I believe it's about $24.99. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. And uh, you can grab up this little stocking. So if you have sewing buddies on your gift list, grab up this little stocking. Everything is inside already. You can even personalize the stocking with their name, add a little hand embroidery, add some machine embroidery, add some decorative stitching to the little cute cuff, whatever your heart desires. And you could personalize one of these for each one of your sewing buddies. Or if you're part of a guild, or if you're doing a secret Santa swap or something like that, these are so, so cute. All right, I wanted to just make sure everyone was aware of that uh, because once they're gone, they're gone. So get yours while you can. All right, let's see. What else do we need to talk about before we dive in to the gift guide? Yvonne says, please digitize it. That would be a cute design. All right, I like to know that um, that you all love the idea. <laughs> Erlene loves the sticker as well. All right, Joy says, I am making all my presents for most of the people. That is amazing. I absolutely love that. So before we go into the gift guide here, you could see, as I said, I have a lot of things going on. And since I was ill over Thanksgiving, I mean, we didn't even have Thanksgiving at my house. Isn't this a crime? I mean, thankfully, I made some pies ahead of time. So we had pie. Um, but on the actual day, half of my family was out sick and the other half was not willing to, you know, do the whole shebang on their own because really they felt bad for us. So I know it's so sad. We still have to have our Thanksgiving. Um, but at any rate, I did make a couple of pies ahead of time. So there was pie. Um, so that's important. And we did manage to get the Christmas tree up. There is no ornaments on it, but we have a Christmas tree with lights on it. So there we go. Also, um, I did manage to get some holiday fabrics going on and to start plotting out what I need to make and how long I need really to make it to make sure everything's going to get done before the holidays. Because as you know, these days go by so fast. And if we don't start thinking about, okay, you know, these pajamas I'm going to make are going to take a few hours per person and I'm making X, Y, Z, you know, I mean, 
we got to budget our time, right? All right. So every year I make my kids pajamas and at least pajama pants. And then, uh, they all, you know, wear whatever t-shirt they want, uh, to bed or a tank top or something like that. So I found this adorable Santa knit fabric. Um, I've also got some peppermints, peppermint knit fabric. I'm going knit this year. So stay tuned because in a couple weeks, I'm going to go over uh, the pajamas that I'm making. So I'm just kind of plotting things out right now and uh, we'll get there together. If you're anything like me and you like the whole, you know, new pajamas on Christmas uh, tradition. All right, let's see what else. Uh, lots of, yes, days pass wickedly fast between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I think that's, it's just because we have so much going on. There's so many activities we can choose from and it just flies by. All of a sudden it's, you know, Valentine's Day. It's crazy. So let's try to live in the moment and enjoy it. <laughs> okay. Also, you could see I've got my Smith organizers here. Who out there? is signed up for our New Year's Eve sew along for 2022. I know a lot of you are because I recognize your names. I can tell. Yep. Everyone's saying thank th thank you for your well wishes that I'm feeling better. I know I sound awful, but we're getting there. All right. Lorelai is signed up. Denise is signed up. All right, perfect. Now, if you're not signed up, obviously there is plenty of time. We are going to be sewing along together starting at 12 noon Eastern time on New Year's Eve. So it's basically a noon Year's Eve sew along. And we will go for about four hours. Now, if you cannot join for the full four hours, no problem. Totally fine. You can join whenever you like during the four hours. And then once the live event ends, you can go back, pick up anything that you missed, rewind, fast forward, review any of the uh, techniques that you want while you're working your way through your organizer. I do want to mention, however, that Sally Tomato is fulfilling these kits. This is our collaborative um, event with Sally Tomato that we do every year. And they want to make sure that you get your kit in time for the sew along. So I believe they said you really need to put in your orders before December 15th. December 15th is cutting it really close, um, depending on where you live. And we all know that the postal system is like nutty nut job. So make sure if you are interested in grabbing up one of these kits to make your decision on which colorway you want to go with. And it, it's, it's a hard choice, I know. So this is the brown colorway and you get this dark brown that's used for the exterior and then this lighter brown color that's used for the interior and the accent pieces. You get your zipper, all of the components that you need for your Smith organizer. Um, and then, you know, the blue colorway. I just don't really know which one I love better. Um, it's a great gift idea. Um, if you have anybody graduating in 2023, this would be an awesome project to make them as they head out into the real world um, or, you know, progress in their grade. Or even if you're just planning a trip, and you're going to be doing some traveling um, after the first of the year. This is so awesome because it holds up to an 11 inch tablet. It also holds a notebook on the inside. You've got your little um, elastic that holds your notebook in place, your zippered pocket. And then I absolutely love this part of the organizer. You can put your cords in here. Let me see if I can soup this up a little bit. So you just kind of squish together your cords and you can hold them in these cute little tabs. And then of course you've got your business card holders. These, these can also hold 
some thumb drives. They're perfect for that. You could stock them with thumb drives um, for the recipient. And then you have your larger pocket here. Now I opted to sew down the middle and have two pockets, but you could also leave this open and have a larger pocket for, you know, a passport or whatever kinds of things you need to store in your handy dandy organizer. So this is an amazing project. It comes together really easily and you're going to get lots of tips and tricks for working with these beautiful embroidery designs. So I know I've been mentioning this for a couple of weeks now, but we also partnered with Embroidery Library and Urban Threads. Love them. And they are providing five embroidery designs for free for everyone who registers for the Sew Along. So you get a package of five designs and you also get the brand new Smith Organizer from Sally Tomato completely for free just by registering for the event. So you will have everything you need. You can grab up your kit and you'll be ready to sew along with us on New Year's Eve. I do want to also mention that you'll want to pre-cut your pieces uh, so that you're ready to sew with us because as you know, the cutting takes the longest when you're sewing, really. Um, unless you're doing an embroidery design that takes, you know, three days to stitch out. Um, <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> I know, I sound terrible. The cutting takes the longest, and we want to make sure that your cutting is accurate as well. So I would mark on the wrong side of your faux leather pieces. Make sure that you measure twice, at least so that you can cut once and make sure everything is nice and accurate. I would use a rotary cutter for this uh, because your edges of your faux leather, you want them to be nice and straight and up and down. Um, sometimes if we angle our rotary cutter or angle our scissors a little bit when we're cutting, you can have a weird edge on the faux leather. So make sure you're cutting nice and straight and up and down. And the first thing we're going to start with on New Year's Eve will be the machine embroidery. So I also suggest that you go through the designs that you uh, will receive once you register and kind of pick and choose what you would like to feature on the front of your organizer. We also have a non-embroidery option. So if you don't have an embroidery machine, I'm going to go through how to add some really cool decorative stitches, lots of different thread colors. Isn't that a cool detail? And I'm going to show you different places you can add the decorative stitching and some different decorative stitches to use. So you don't necessarily have to do these intersecting lines of stitches. Um, there's lots of different options. So that's the non-embroidery option. We also have this beautiful butterfly that you can choose. We also have this beautiful butterfly. This is another sample I'm working on that you can choose. Just another kind of cool butterfly in that blue colorway. We also have this really neat stamp design. It's another sample I'm doing. This is a really great uh, design for the travel enthusiast. And we also have a tree design. And I will say that the sample I'm about to show you is the first iteration of this design. Um, we really worked a lot with Urban Threads and Embroidery Library to make sure that the designs um, were not only digitized well for the faux leather, because as you know, faux leather can buckle and kind of pucker a little bit because it doesn't have any room within the fibers to accept all that extra thread that we are adding to it with machine embroidery. So since there isn't room, what will happen is the needle will push those fibers away, if you can even call them fibers, uh, to make room for that thread. And that's what causes the little bubbling and the, the buckling that you'll see sometimes when you're working with faux leather or even cork, if you're using a denser design with lots of thread and stitches. So we worked with them to make sure that the designs had less density to them, less layers to them, but still were gorgeous. For example, you might recognize this design from Embroidery Library. Well, we worked with them to make sure that we could uh, reduce the density of it, make it a little bit more outline-y, 
if you will. Um, and make sure that the colors went well with the uh, colorway of the kit, all kinds of things. And there's so much that goes into this, so much planning. Um, so I'm really excited for you all to experience it. But anyway, this is the first iteration of this design. And you can see, you can't even see the leaves of this tree because of the thread color that was originally uh, intended for this colorway. So you can see we thought that thread was going to work, but after it was sewn on here, you can't even see it, right? So we worked with them and changed the colors. They, they re-digitized it, re-saved it for us, repackaged it all together, um, and now you're going to see an even more beautiful result for that tree as well. So, um, you know, so again, so much planning goes into it and I, I can't wait for you all to experience it. All right. Let's see. Somebody asked about, do, 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 hold on. Loving the blue colorway with the butterfly design. I saw a question go in and then Oh, will we be machine embroidering during the class? So yes, we are going to start with machine embroidery. That's another thing I wanted to mention is since this is a sew along, um, you know, some of these designs are going to take a little bit longer to stitch out than others. Uh, for example, this tree design has a lot more stitches than the stamp design. Um, and for example, the decorative stitching. Um, might not take as long as the machine embroidery, or it might take longer depending on how much you want to do and where. So what I'm going to do when we start is we're going to begin straight away with the machine embroidery. We're going to talk about achieving perfect placement on that flap um, so that we don't have any waste of our kit fabric, because I know that that's a major stress for people. You know, you get a kit, there isn't a lot of extra um, or room for mistakes. So we are really going to focus on making sure we have that portion of the project hooped properly. Um, so that's going to be a main focus when we begin. And then we're going to start the design. Then we will move on to the decorative stitching option. So those who are doing machine embroidery can continue with their color swaps, and with the design stitch out while we are moving forward with the decorative stitching um, non-embroidery option. And the way that I have structured it, I think everyone's going to have time to complete the machine embroidery before we begin the construction. And we're also going to take a little bit of a breather before we start the construction, and we'll do a little Q&A, um, and a little discussion with uh, Jessica Barrera from Sally Tomato so that everybody can kind of catch up and get to a point where we can start constructing the organizer. So we really, really want this to be a traditional sew along where everyone's sewing together. And at the end of the four hours, you have something beautiful that you have completed. And maybe all you need to do to finish it up is your final top stitching, um, if that. So really looking forward to it. And I hope you all are too. All right. Yvonne says, wish I could do the sew along, but I have to work the whole day. That is a bummer. Um, but again, it will be available on demand so you can watch it after the fact. And I know it's not, you know, the same thing as being there live with us, but you can watch it at your leisure. Uh, once you do have a day off and you can devote your four hours of sewing um, and so along, um, you know, when you're able. All right, there are some uh, kit questions coming in. So like I said, the kits are being fulfilled by Sally Tomato. So any kit questions you'll need to address to them. I did go on their website earlier and um, it does say that if you order a kit right now, it is considered a pre-order. So they are getting all the orders for the kits, compiling all the kits, and then they will ship them out. It said end of November, early December. 
so if you want a more definitive answer from them, I, re I encourage you to reach out to Sally Tomato. You can email them at info at sallytomato.com or you can also call them, head on over to their website and they have an 800 number. Okay. Could I make a practice bag from cork? Um, you know what, Millie? I think that you could, sure. Um, you know, cork has very similar properties to faux leather. And I think that this would look beautiful in cork. Uh, so you could definitely make a practice bag if you wanted to dive in. Um, but I do suggest if it's your first time embroidering on this kind of fabric, um, or if you're not doing an embroidery test and you're just wanting to get the construction down before you go to the real thing, um, that's perfectly fine. And I think it would work out great. All right. Denise says, planning to sew a sample embroidery before the sew along. You guys are so prepared. Love it. All right. Leslie asks, if you sign up but are unable to participate that day, are you still entered in the drawings? Yes, you are. And thanks for bringing that up. We have some really great door prizes on our New Year's Eve Sew Along event. Um, one of which is a software package from Creative Drawings. And it's valued at $2,100. I know. So you could win this fabulous embroidery software package and just really up your embroidery game. Um, I really like uh, Creative Drawings software. I think it's very intuitive. It's actually the first software I ever used when I started on my machine embroidery journey about 14, 15 years ago. So awesome, awesome prize. And we thank Creative Drawings so much for uh, participating in that way for our sew along. We also have some great door prizes from Sulky and Sally Tomato to give uh, to give away during the event. So everybody who registers is eligible to win the door prizes. You do not have to be watching live in order to win. All right. So yay. Round of applause. Everyone, everyone could be a winner. Just like if you're watching here today and you're commenting, liking, sharing, giving me those great emojis you are automatically eligible to win a holiday mystery box. All right. So without further ado, let's go to our holiday gift guide. Now, if you've seen this already at sulky.com, um, you might have some questions about some of the items in the gift guide. Be sure to put those in the comments. But I just think this is the cutest little thing. It's like a little sulky magazine. And um, you know me, I love a magazine, right? How can I not? It's like my roots. <laughs> so this is full of free patterns, projects, um, products, um, gift ideas, jewelry, all kinds of sewing themed fun goodies. Uh, so you can see on our cover here, we have our cute little pet stocking. I went over that project a few weeks ago here on So What. Um, if you go over to our holiday gift guide page at sulky.com, you can uh, link on each one of these pictures. They're all live links. So you can really easily just click on anything that you see that you might like. And a new window will open with either the blog post, the pattern, the applique template, um, a link to the thread, or what have you. So it's really, really easy to kind of grab all of the things that catch your eye. And feel free to just click, 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 click. All the windows will open, and then you can kind of browse through them and categorize what you really want and what you really want to make. All right, so we have kind of a color theme going on. So these are our red pages. And... I mean, so cute. We have these little sip and sew wine tumblers. Um, you don't have to put wine in there. Um, my kids even like to use them for hot cocoa and they don't burn your hands and they keep the hot cocoa nice and warm. Um, this one says, dear Santa, please send fabric. So cute. 
We also have our I Love Sewing wooden ornament. Um, and last I checked, we were very low stock on those. So if you were kind of thinking about grabbing up that ornament for a stocking stuffer, now is your chance because again, once those are gone, they're gone. We also have a really great kit for, um, it's actually a thread kit that you can use to make these lovely in the hoop uh, thread lace ornaments that you see on the upper right of the page there, as well as these great little gift tags that are all made in the hoop of your embroidery machine. And those are all designed by Sweet Pea Embroidery. And we have a thread kit that comes with the design files that you need to create these designs. So really great. You can grab those up and make these for everybody on your gift list. And I love a gift tag, right? Because not only can you use it as a gift tag, but you can use it as a little place card holder on somebody's plate um, at your holiday table, put their name on it, and then they can bring that home as a little thank you gift and then put it on their tree for next year and the years to come. I love that idea. Maybe you can even fit little kitty silverware in the gift tag and put that on the kid's table. How cute. All right, we've also got some ornament projects and a velvet stocking project as well. That velvet stocking comes with a pattern. So if you are looking for a stocking pattern to make a stocking for anybody on your list, you can grab up that pattern um, and start making your stockings for everyone on your list. It comes with a cuff design and the cuff can be embroidered with hand embroidery, machine embroidery, you can quilt it, any kind of embellishment you like, um, add a little initial monogram or name to it. It's absolutely perfect. All right. Hope I don't lose my voice, everyone. Here we go. <laughs> Virginia says, I want a holiday gift guide. All right. Oh, Sue, let's rewind for Sue a little bit. She's asking, do all the designs come with the $14.99 kit? Sorry, I joined late. Okay, so the $14.99 is not the cost of the kit for New Year's Eve. The $14.99 is the cost of the event. And with that $14.99 cover charge, you're getting the four-hour sew-along event, the Smith Organizer Pattern from Sally Tomato, which has a $9.99 retail value. You're also getting the five embroidery designs from Embroidery Library and Urban Threads. That has a $29.94 retail value. So for only $14.99, you're getting the digital pattern and all the machine embroidery designs. The kit is a separate purchase at sallytomato.com. So I hope that clears things up for you. Sue, let me know if you have some more questions. And Clovis, yes, I know. My voice sounds horrible. <laughs> Thank you all for continuing to listen to it this morning. All right. So here is the next page of our holiday gift guide. Obviously, we've got piecing projects, some scrap buster projects, our holiday jelly roll home decor kit, which is made all in the serger. Uh, so you grab up our jelly roll, uh, which is Robert Kaufman solids in creams and reds and greens, and you flat lock them all together to create either a table runner or a pillow project. And this was part of our serger sewing session that we did with Katrina Walker last year, and it was wildly successful. So if you didn't get a chance to experience that, I highly suggest you take a look at that serger sewing session because we will be having a part two early in 2023. So you can grab up part one and learn really all the basics of using your serger and which needles and loopers do what and, you know, how to take care of your machine and what all the parts are called and really get to know your serger. And then when we take you to next level serger success in 2023, you will have that great foundation of the first sewing session um, 
to kind of build upon. All right. So now we're going into the blues, right? The blue colors of the holidays. And we've got our great Santa sayings machine embroidery palette. And I always bring this up because I think these are the most adorable designs. I even talked about those last week as well. We also have some really great looking uh, supply pouches. And you don't have to use these for sewing supplies. You know, a zipper pouch has so many different uses. But we've re got some really cute uh, sewing themed ones and holiday themed ones that you will see as well. We also have our great sewing signs and fun decor and some Hanukkah projects thrown in the mix too. Somebody mentioned earlier when I was talking about my Santa knit fabric that they were looking for some Hanukkah knit fabric. Um, and I did happen to see some when I was at Joanne Fabrics the other day. Um, some really cute ones with dreidels on them. Um, so I think you'll be able to start finding those in the store now that um, they're definitely switching away from Halloween, of course, and moving on to all the fun Christmas uh, substrates. All right, Jennifer says, I've got to stitch some Santa sayings this year. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Also, these little macaroons. Do you guys see these? So this little thing, I think I have one right next to me. Or I did. Yes. Okay, so this is quite possibly one of the cutest little uh, stocking stuffers. So it's a little macaron. My girls love these. They think they are the cutest thing. And the middle of it actually sharpens your needle. Isn't that great? So let me find a needle. I'm sure all my needles need sharpening. And the top of it is magnetic. So you can sharpen your needle down here, stick it in there a couple of times, and then store it right on the top. It's a little magnetic. Isn't that cute? And I absolutely love how they have it on a little uh, cake plate. Adorable. So I don't know if you all know, but I have cake plates, little ones I find at the dollar store or in the Target bins. Here's one. And I put my little pin cushions on them all the time. I store stuff like this. <laughs> I don't know. It's an obsession of mine. So obviously I think these are adorable. Anyways, we have these in pink and in teal and they're from Clover and they're so cute. So if you have a sewing buddy on your list, um, I highly suggest one of these cute little puppies. You could even put it, make it as part of a little sewing kit and maybe gift it to a little one who you want to help, you know, teach to sew. Make them a little sewing kit. Give them a little cute macaron. You know, like this gets my girls all excited about sewing because they love these little things. You could even package them up with actual macarons, right? Okay. I know I'm getting like really excited about the cute, the littlest things. <laughs> All right. So more into the blues, we have our, ch uh, not our chili cat. This is our cool cat. Um, and many of you have made our peekaboo pets machine embroidery designs. And this cool cat is one of them. Uh, peekaboo pets is a collection of six machine embroidery designs. Uh, three of them are cats in with different little attitudes, and three of them are dogs with different little attitudes. And we use our 12-weight filleting thread for these stitch-outs. That way you can brush up and fluff up all of that dense fur stitching and really make this cat come to life. And Cool Cat is one of my favorites because I just love the sunglasses and I think he's so adorably cute. We also have um, these applique templates for the snow globe. This project is a little coaster that was created by Carrie Jewel of Carrie Jewel Quilting. And I love the color choices. Um, I love the teals and reds and kind of non-traditional Christmas colors as well. I mean, I love, I love it all. Um, I just like to go really full rainbow at Christmas, to be honest. 
<laughs> and then also we've got another Fillane project on this page, which is this sweater. And that's right, you can add machine embroidery to a ready-made sweater or sweater knit. You just need the right stabilizer. So if you go on over to our holiday gift guide at sulky.com, you can click right on that sweater and it'll take you right over to the blog post that explains how to do it, um, how to embroider with the fillet thread, because it is a tricky animal, this, this fillet thread. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, you're going to absolutely love it and love the effects you can create. Carol says, do you have to use the fillet thread on the cat? Um, interesting question. You know, I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to brush it out and you don't want that fluffy look. It still has this really cool textured appearance because of that heavyweight thread. Um, so I will say it's digitized for a very heavy 12 weight thread. So the stitches are much longer than you would find in a 40 weight design. And they're also farther apart from each other to account for the thickness of that thread. So let's say you use a 30 weight cotton thread uh, for a design that's digitized for 12 weight fillet thread. So when you use the lighter weight thread, you're, you might have some areas of uh, like your, your, your stitches might be a little bit farther apart, um, not as dense and close together. But I think with this design, since there's so many layers of thread, um, you could probably get away with like a 30 weight cotton. But like I said, there might be areas of the design where there are open areas where you could see the fabric underneath. Does that make sense? Um, so you could try swapping for a 30 weight uh, cotton and see how you like the look of it. It might be just fine because, again, there are so many different layers um, and where these threads come together and there's different uh, shades between them, um, like on the neck part of the cat and the body, um, those threads kind of go like this a little bit. So I feel like that would sort of fill in uh, those areas that might be otherwise open. So I hope I'm making sense. You know, the, the cloudiness <laughs> that's, that's overtaking me. I hope I'm making sense to you all today. All right. So now we go into the golds and the fun metallics. That's another thing I love about the holiday season. You know, it's like the minute we hit Halloween and go through the holidays, all the specialty threads can come out. The poly sparkles, the metallics, the hollow shimmer, the sliver, all of those fun things, especially as we head into New Year's Eve, where we want to get all glitzy and glammy, right? So this is our gold collection of Sulky Poly Sparkle Thread. It's a six pack of thread curated with all those great gold colors. So also you can see this beautiful sheer blouse. That is a sheer fabric with metallic thread embroideries. And you can get all the how-tos um, for how to embroider on a sheer fabric simply by clicking on uh, this particular picture on the gift guide at sulky.com. Also, luggage tag blanks. Did you all know that we had luggage tag blanks at sulky.com? We have tons of colors of them. They're really easy to embroider. I did a whole tutorial on the blog for how to embroider these luggage tags. And what a great gift for anybody on your list this year. A monogram looks great on these. Um, even maybe a licensed design for a character that uh, you know your nieces and nephews love, something like that. It's a great idea uh, for any age, any gender on your gift list. All right, storage solutions. I mean, I have to mention the cute little thimble that I have next to my sewing machine. I have the rose gold, but we also have this gold color. 
And then we've got a couple of other colors as well at sulky.com. So that's great for anybody on your list as well. All right. What's next? Ooh, I, I just love our little wooden ornaments. We've got this sewing machine that I mentioned in our So Wonderful stocking. We also have a thimble. We also have um, a sewing machine, the thread spool, and a pair of scissors. So even if you're looking for something for, let's say, your hairdresser, you know, what is so funny to me is I have all these sewing machine or sewing themed necklaces and jewelry. It's like a passion of mine. And when I go see my hairdresser the other day, I don't know if you noticed, I cut like six inches off of my hair. I know it's bouncy now. Anyway, um, I go see her the other day and I'm wearing a necklace that has a pair of what I consider sewing scissors on it. And she's like, oh my gosh, where did you get that? I have to have that because she cuts hair for a living. It never occurred to me that this was more universal than just, you know, sewing scissors because that's, that's how I interpret it. So if you're looking for something for even your hairdresser, grab up a scissor ornament and they will absolutely love it. Um, okay, I digress. So magnetic displays. This cute little magnetic display you see up here is great for photos. Um, you can add on some little magnets so you can hold a photo on here. You can make it your little mood board next to your sewing machine. Put a little swatch of fabric, the color of thread you're going to use for your project, a little sketch. Put it all on your magnetic mood board. Super cute. Love that idea. Also, of course, some of our best sellers, um, little sewing scissors. Everybody needs a new pair of little sewing scissors. Am I right? There's always the right scissor for the job. <laughs> and I'm always looking, you know me, my little curved tip squeezers. <laughs> it's like my right hand man. I'm telling you what. All right. And then our, I made this patch. We have these ready-made patches at sulky.com. So you can buy these up already pre-made. Or we also have machine embroidery design to make your own patch. This was actually part of our New Year's Eve sew along last year. So if you happen to miss that, you can still purchase the uh, 2021 New Year's Eve sew along and learn how these patches come together and make an entirely different bag and adorn it with your cute little I made this patch. I actually have the patches that I made for last year's New Year's Eve sew along right here. Um, I used some faux leather scraps to make mine. So here's my homemade I made this patch. I also We also have our Sewaholic patch that you make entirely in the hoop of your embroidery machine with some wash away stabilizer on the back. Super easy. And then we also have Sewing Mends the Soul. I love these. Patches are so cute. All right. Jennifer says, I embroider my quilt labels for my quilts. Fantastic. Oh, Yvonne, thank you. She says, I bought one of the magnetic holders for my sewing room shelf and love it. It's very heavy metal, so it's super sturdy. Awesome. Thank you for that. All right, what's up next? So now we've got like our whites, our like snowy um, holiday gift guide pages. And this is another one of our little tumblers, our sip and sew tumblers. This one says, so this is Christmas. Super cute. We also, of course, have countdown calendars. You can grab up the how-tos, the tutorials for these. We've got a kit for that December countdown calendar as well that you can do uh, cross-stitch by hand. We also have this as a machine embroidery cross-stitch design. So you can achieve the look of cross-stitch on your embroidery machine. And that one comes together much quicker 
than it would if you were making all of those cross stitches by hand. We also have this great Clover Handy Mini Iron. How many of you out there have one of these irons? Because I recently discovered that they are super handy for doing appliques in the hoop of your embroidery machine. Especially if you uh, participated in our holiday cheer, or excuse me, it's called Have a Cup of Cheer Mug Rug, uh, holiday mug rug webcast that we did uh, this past month with uh, Becky Thompson of Power Tools with Thread. She likes to use Sulky Perfect Applique when doing in the hoop appliques. A lot of the times, digitizers won't direct you direct you to using a fusible web when you're doing in the hoop applique. But it actually um, really contributes to the longevity of your project. It makes sure you have nice, crisp, clean outer edges of your applique pieces. And you can fuse it down by adding your perfect applique to the pieces when it comes time to add that applique in the hoop, you would remove your hoop from the machine, place your pre-cut piece over your placement stitches, and then use that handy little um, clover mini iron, place your hoop on a wool pressing mat or pressing surface, and quickly fuse that little area in place then put your hoop back on the uh, machine and continue with your embroidery. So I have recently discovered that this type of iron is perfect for that because the little portion of iron can be right on that little applique piece. You don't have to worry about a larger iron hitting any other portions of the design as you're moving your way through it. All right. And I mentioned pajamas that I'm making, right? This is actually the pattern that I'm going to be using. And what's unique about the pattern that's featured here, which is our kids' pajama pant pattern, is that you can use it for either a knit or a woven fabric. So I'm going to be talking about that again as we move forward in the next couple of weeks as I work my way through my kid pajama pants I hope that you can as well. So you can grab up that kid pajama pant pattern and review it and purchase the yardage that you need for the kiddos in your life. And then we can work our way through that together. And like I mentioned, some more Hanukkah projects. Uh, this is a project that is created with some poly sparkle thread. Um, and I added some quilting beyond the design. Uh, so again, if you go to sulky.com and navigate to this page of the lookbook, it'll take you right on over to the blog post where you can see exactly what I did there and work your way through uh, this Hanukkah design as well. Sewing signs I mentioned. I have a few in my sewing room as well. Um, just little touches, you know, that make your sewing studio a little more homey. Um, absolutely love it. All right, now we go into the kind of pinks and the berries, right, of the holidays. Great gift ideas, projects to make. Um, our cute little Besties Forever uh, machine embroidery collection. This is our cup of tea machine embroidery collection pun intended. Um, also, our great organizer that I just showed off here that we will be working our way through on New Year's Eve, the Have a Cup of Cheer mug rug that I just talked about, and needle minders. These make great gifts as well. We've got so many cute needle minders in different shapes, um, sewing machines, hedgehogs, little campers, um, cats, so cute. Love a needle minder. All right. And then we've got some more pinks, quick quilting projects, little coasters you can create. I love, you know, diving into our fabric stashes. There's more, no time 
like, you know, gift giving time when you've got to make lots of gifts. I forget who, who out there said they were trying to make something for everybody on their list this year, which is so admirable and awesome. So dive into your fabric stash and put together some color palettes and you can create a coaster set for everybody on your list. And everybody gets the same thing, but it's a little bit different based on the fabrics that you find in your stash. Somebody can get a set of green coasters because that's their home decor, or a set of purples and grays. You know the drill. Um, also, so adorable, these different pin cushions. Now this donut pin cushion, I also have this because I couldn't resist. And this doesn't have to be for your uh, sewing pins. Uh, this can also be for anybody's little desk. In fact, my girls are fighting over this and I'm like, no, it stays here in my sewing room <laughs> because I think it's the cutest. I guess I have a pastry obsession, the macarons, the donuts. But at any rate, this also comes with pins that you can use, little push pins. Um, and it is self-healing, so it doesn't make any little holes in it. So this is a cute little gift for anybody on your list. Really, they can have it at their desk, at their sewing room, what have you. So really cute. Love that little guy. Okay, so now we get into the kind of grays and blacks and silvers. We've got our little piece gnome zipper pouch. Um, needles, of course. We have a cute little coaster set that has some sewing uh, uh, themed motifs and words. I'm so awesome. Love to sew and sew what. Um, so those are some really cool um, kind of cork uh, coasters you can grab up. We also have our little gnomes. Uh, so this is our gnome mug rug, which comes with free templates to assemble your little gnomes. You could make a larger table runner using gnomes or even smaller coasters um, or just do the mug rug as is. And these are really cute little holiday hostess gifts. All right, and crafting companions. You know, blanks are one of the best things to grab up for holiday gift giving. We've got tons of towel blanks and uh, um, pouches and aprons and uh, onesies and, I mean, so many blanks. Also, these embroider buddies. That's what this cute little cow is. He is an embroider buddy. And what's awesome about these guys is they are specially made so that you can embroider their bellies. So what you do is you unzip the back of the little animal and all of the stuffing components come out like little pillows. So there will be a pillow for the center, a little pillow that goes in the head, and you can remove all these things, making the little belly nice and flat so that you can stick it to your sulky Sticky Plus stabilizer, embroider a little name, a monogram, a little motif, a little message from grandma, whatever you would like. And then when you're done with the embroidery, you simply put all the little stuffing pillows back in the little guy, zip him up and gift him to a precious little one. So there's cows, there's unicorns, there's Santas, there's uh, basketballs, hockey pucks, uh, footballs, all kinds of embroider buddies. So make sure when you're grabbing up your embroider buddy that you have Sulky Sticky Plus Stabilizer, Sulky Solvy Stabilizer, because these are plushies, so they also need a topper to make sure that your stitches sit proudly on top of the surface of those, you know, uh, nappy fabrics, right? And then, of course, the threads, bobbin thread, and needles that you need to stitch up your Embroider Buddy Softies. Okay. 
All right, so now we have kind of our earth colors, our browns, things like that. We've got fabric bundles, thread bundles, all of your needles. This is another great zipper pouch that says Merry Quilting. Love this one. You know, I was talking about assembling uh, little sewing kits earlier for maybe a budding seamstress. Um, it would be so cute to, you know, invite your niece, nephew, daughter, granddaughter in on the New Year's Eve sew along with you. And if they've never sewn before, grab them up one of these cute little pouches, put in a pack of needles, put in a couple spools of thread, put in a couple hand sewing needles. We all need some hand sewing needles. I can never find one when I need one. Put in some basic sewing supplies, a little pair of scissors, and this would be such a great gift uh, to open up on Christmas and then to know that they get to sew along with you on New Year's Eve. So I think that would be a fun little kit to put together uh, for a special someone. Also, this cute little vintage looking simplicity sketchbook uh, that makes a great gift for yourself or for anybody on your list. Um, and then just some other little goodies uh, at sulky.com. I talked about that jelly roll earlier. This is what that looks like. You could choose from the reds and creams to put together your jelly roll home decor uh, table runner or pillow, or you could go with only the greens or the greens and reds. You know, you kind of decide if you want a candy cane look or not. All right. Christy says, I would love to have a place to share a hint list or just other things I want to get next time or to get free shipping. My husband is always wanting a list. I know, mine too. You know, he's always like, I never know what to get you because you always just grab up whatever you need. So this is a great little holiday gift list. You could always, you know, hint, hint, send this gift list on over to your husband and say, check out page six. I want everything on the right side or whatever it is. Um, you could even print out this PDF, kind of circle things like we like to, like we used to do back in the day when the Sears catalog would come in the mail or when the Target gift list comes and you can kind of circle things that you want and leave it on his pillow or leave it by his, you know, nightstand, something like that. All right, so that is our 2022 Sulky Holiday Gift Guide, and you can peruse everything yourself over at sulky.com slash holiday gift guide. Um, I believe that's close to the URL, but it's linked right on our homepage there, so you can uh, take a look at it, and like I said, click on everything, and it will take you uh, to a different um, window so that you can take a look at all the projects, freebies, patterns, thread spools, make your own list at sulky.com, fill up your cart, and then show it off to those that you love and say, here's what mama needs for Christmas. Here's what grandma wants for Christmas. <laughs> um, so I think they would appreciate it as well. All right. Well, Thanks, everybody, again, for enduring my terrible voice. I hope I sound better next Tuesday. Um, I will be coming to you with lots more uh, things to make for yourself and for others for the holidays, gifts to give um, and decor to make, wearables to wear, all kinds of fun things as we head into December. We only have, um, you know, one more day of November, and then here we are, so Again, thanks for all the well wishes. I appreciate you all so much. And uh, be sure to sign up for New Year's Eve if you haven't already. And I'll see you next Tuesday for another So What? Have a great day, everyone.